Leo has $4,522.08 in his bank account. He deposits another $875.50 and then withdraws $300 in cash. How much is left in his account? So he's starting with $4,522.08. So let's write that down. $4,522.08. And then he deposits, he deposits or he adds another eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents. So he's going to add eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents. When you deposit into an account, you're putting something into the account or you're adding to the account. So after he adds that eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents, what does he have? So we go back to the penny spot, or we could view that as the hundredths. A penny is one hundredth of a dollar. Eight, let me switch colors. We have eight plus zero is eight. Zero plus five is five. Have the decimal right there. Two plus five is seven. Two plus seven is nine. Five plus eight is thirteen. Put the three down here and regroup the one or carry the one. One plus four is five. So after the eight hundred and seventy five dollar and fifty cent deposit, he has five thousand three hundred and ninety seven dollars and fifty eight cents. Then he withdraws. He withdraws three hundred dollars in cash, or he takes out three hundred dollars. So we'll have to subtract that. So then he withdraws three hundred, three hundred dollars, and I just added some trailing decimals, at, trailing zeros after the decimal. Three hundred dollars is the same thing as three hundred dollars and zero cents. And then we subtract, and then we can subtract. Eight minus zero is eight. Five minus zero is five. We have our decimal right there. Seven minus zero is seven. Nine minus zero is nine. Three minus three is zero. And then five minus nothing here is five. So he is left with in his account five thousand ninety-seven dollars and fifty-eight cents.